So, today we're going to tune up a triathlon bike. Um, so the shifting is really bad. Usually that means the cables are stretched. So I like to just put the chain all the way to the top, like that, and shift it all the way down. And it gives you slack on your line. And you just pull off the cables, and likely, more than likely, the cables will just be stretched. And uh, what that does is it allows the cable to flex when you're trying to shift. It needs to be precision, so it's not going to work. So we have to unscrew this. Pull that bad boy out of there. Yeah, see that? <clears throat> That's where all this flex is coming from when he's trying to sh make precision shifts. So, yeah, we'll give him all new cables here. So, I'm gonna go cut those. So, this is just four millimeter uh, shifter cable. I like to just line it up with the old one, cut the new. You wanna make sure you cut it perfectly straight this way or else you'll have one corner that sticks out more than the other and then you're going to have the same issue that you had before. And you get your furls that go on the ends. You really want to make sure they go all the way on. I like to tap mine against the vise. So now we pull the cable out. Every shifter is different. This one happens just pop out through the top. Just uh, Wire it through like that. So now our front section has all been replaced with new cables. Reset your barrel adjuster. And then tighten it up. I like to do two crimp spots, and I'll bend that down out of the way. Now we'll just see how it works. Shift up, see how it's not shifting, so you just spin your barrel adjuster counterclockwise, which unscrews it, which pulls the cable tighter. So you're just going to turn that slowly, one click at a time, so you can see that, until that chain shifts up just like that. Then I like to go a little further. See if it'll go up and down about the same rate. Still a little slow on the upshift, so I'll go with one more. Now at this point, the whole rest of the cassette should shift equally as good. Um, but we're good, so we'll be good to go. I measured his chain, it's a little stretched. It's probably I'll recommend him to replace it this season. Um, catches but you can force it in so it's a little stretched but he has a race this weekend so um, and he opted out of getting a new chain so that's all right and now we'll look you'll notice his bike right here is rubbing on his uh, shifter cable so what we're gonna have to do if you look his tire is further right than it is left so we're gonna have to true this wheel to the left about a quarter of an inch. Alright, so we got that wheel back up. Now there's a decent gap between the cord right there. And it's in the center of the frame up front. Alright, so let's see what we're dealing with on the front here. Now there's no rubbing right here. And yeah, there's a little bit. And see how there's a little bit of movement on the derailleur? when I pull the cable. Um, that means the limiter is not set, so it's not stopping it from coming forward. So we can actually just adjust. Our derailleur cable until it stops rubbing. And there, now it's stopped. Uh, the only thing, you need to make sure it'll still downshift. Which it does. And then you want to make sure when you're at the top of your gears in the back, 
that you're not rubbing on the bottom of the derailleur when it's all the way down. Next we'll do the brake. It's not quite straight and it definitely, definitely needs to be pulled tight. see got a credit card gap on each side. This front one is also extremely loose. Pad wear is good, alignment's fine. So now got about a credit card on each side. It needs to be adjusted a little bit a little bit down. So I'll move it and then grab the brakes to test. There's a little uh, slight hop and a little weave in it, so we'll true the wheel. Um, I'll show you guys how to true wheels in another episode. All right, so now we're back. And uh, got the wheel true. The tire, of course, is off because it needs air, but the wheel's true. We got a credit card max. Wheel space. Perfect. So now we get a clean. So you can see it's really grimy, his chain's real grimy. I have this Tupperware that catches all the grime and water. This is a cool little tool. We also have one like this, the grunge brush brush. Um, Kind of just an external way. I like this because I drop a little less water everywhere. Take it home and then we're all done. That's it.